All right. Well, let's keep rolling along to our next guy. It's tight end McAllen Castles from Tennessee. Uh, He played for California, UC Davis, and Tennessee across his collegiate career, where he took a total of 2,004 snaps. Uh, He is 6'4", 244, uh, ran a 4'6", 740-yard dash, and overall had an 8.59 relative athletic score. No spider chart because he wasn't at the combine, and they only use combine measurements there. Uh, As for some stats, he caught the third most touchdowns, five, by an SEC tight end in 2023, and he ends his career with 92 receptions for 1,226 yards and 14 touchdowns. In 2023 at Tennessee, he took 55% of his passing snaps in the slot. So a lot more of a slot player than anything else for Tennessee. But Johnny, what sticks out to you when you looked at his film? Yeah, this might be the one that i'm sort of interested to see how it develops um i mentioned this in the article but the eagles just can't develop a second tight end like no matter what they do so the thing that i find weird about him is he is extraordinarily lean he looks extraordinarily lean but then he's actually 244 um so he's not too small um but then you watch some of the film and you see him as like a hate back you see him blocking uh for like running backs you see him uh sort of doing sort of the dirty work shall we say and that surprised me a little bit because i expected to just simply seeing spit out wide all the time so we spoke about Keller Moore needing like a H-back. We spoke about him looking after maybe like a Ben Sinnott in the draft. Maybe they view this guy as that kind of guy. Um, I know you mentioned the touchdown stats, but I watched quite a few of his touchdowns and I swear to God, he is just always wide open. Like, I don't know what, I don't know anything about Cottage Chain, about the conferences they're in, the teams they're playing, but I, I didn't understand who was covering him because I was like, someone give me a rep where I actually get to see this guy run a route and I just saw him running versus air. So I do have one clip I sent you of one of his touchdowns. And again, I'm only showing these to the podcast more to look at traits. So he's wide open in this play because like most of his touchdowns, he's always wide open. And I saw you shake uh, nod your head at that, whether you've watched him a little bit as well and you saw the same thing. He's always wide open. So you can see here, he's wide open. But the two things that I like about this rep is number one, you can see how long he is. Like he looks like a big slot. He doesn't look like a tight end. He is lean. But 244, he looks in very, very good shape because he is very lean. And the other interesting thing about this clip is that he lines up as a H-back. So I do have a clip in the article of him blocking as a H-back. And then this is a clip where he's lined up in the backfield and running a route. Um, so maybe there's a little bit of versatility that you can develop there. Maybe that's why the Eagles liked him. Again, I don't really expect anything, but um, he's a UDFA. But you never know. The Eagles have struggled with tight ends for a while. And I like the profile in terms of the size. I like the profile in terms of the athleticism. The vertical and broad jump, as you mentioned, are really good. And the 20 yard split's pretty good. So who knows? Um, he's someone that I'm a little bit optimistic about. Maybe in a couple of years' time, we can potentially see him develop into like a tight end free, maybe like a, a multi role tight end who can few, do a few different roles for you. But I don't know if you watched any of him, but he's just always open. And not because he's like running really good routes, just the way they schemed him open and the way defenses didn't seem to have an idea what Tennessee was doing at times. It was slightly weird because I swear he's always open. Yeah, um, you mentioned not knowing a lot about how college football conferences and things work. Would it shock you to know that Tennessee plays in the Southeastern Conference, the SEC, which is considered like the premier defensive conference in college football? Weird. Fair enough. Like, I I don't, and I literally thought that because I saw some of the teams he was going against. Um, And obviously, I recognize names of colleges and stuff. But I, I mean, just go on YouTube, type in. McCullen Castle's highlights and I, I, he's just like wide open on like three or four touchdowns. And I'm like, oh, I didn't really see what I wanted to see here. Um, yeah. But yeah, a bit weird. The, the, there's the reason for that. So I don't know if you've wa- if you've noticed like watching college film, but the hash marks are way wider in college than they are in the NFL. It's like, I think it goes from like 18 feet in the NFL to over 40 feet in college. And so what that allows teams to do is spread, like if you're on the left hash, you've got so much more room to work with on the right side in college. And so Tennessee is kind of famous for their tremendously wide splits from their wide receivers. And if you think about what that makes the defense do, it just stretches it out and it makes it easier to see. uh, It makes it easier to read the defense. It makes it gives them more horizontal stretch. I remember talking about that when, uh, Oh, who was the who was the quarterback that came out of Tennessee last year that the Lions drafted? Um, I can't remember his name now. Anyways, not, wait, not wait, wait. Hooker, was it not? Yes, and I I, I kept wanting to say Malik Hooker, and I was like, that's a safety for Dallas. Uh, Hendon Hooker, 
I, I remember talking about that with people like this is why he's not a good NFL project that 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 offense just does not translate. You just can't do it in the NFL. But so that's maybe a little bit of why he's just always so wide open despite playing in one of the best conferences in NCAA. Yeah, and again, it's not a knock on him. It's just um, traits wise. He's an interesting guy though, because yeah, whenever I see someone play like in the backfield, slot, uh, slot out wide and as an inline tight end, instantly I just wonder if there's something there you can develop. Um, but he looks pretty lean to me. He looks more like a big slot style. So whether he has the juice to handle like inline responsibilities, uh, we'll probably find out in the preseason over the next couple of years.